The FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup India 2022 continues with a Group B match between New Zealand and Nigeria in Goa. Plenty of New Zealand support inside the stadium. New Zealand and Nigeria have ground to make up following their match day one defeats to Chile and Germany, respectively. Names of the players adorned onto that New Zealand flag. Nigeria's best performance in the Under-17 World Cup. Three times quarter-finalists, 2010, 12 and 14. Oh, there's a, almost an opportunity there for Ajikaye. Green got lucky there, the defender. Thinks she was expecting goalkeeper Feinberg Danielli to come and get this. But watch Green, look, she's just puts the brakes on, thinking the goalkeeper's getting there. Ajakai got there first. They don't mind a long throw themselves, Nigeria, as we've seen. Adeshina. Oh, free header, and it's gone past the goalkeeper, and Bello has scored for Nigeria. But Amy Feinberg, Daniele, couldn't gather in. The header from Bello, and for the second time in this tournament, Nigeria go ahead. They lost the lead against Germany on match day one. Will it be a different story this time around? Once the ball comes back here to Adeshina, to a nice cross, and Amina Bello. The header is directed towards the goalkeeper, and it gets beyond her. New Zealand nil, Nigeria one. Swift, clever turn that from Mosaku. And here's Bello. He's got two passes on here. And Ajakai! Feinberg Daniele making the save. That was nicely crafted by Nigeria. Good work from Afalabi, taken on by Bello. And then the little set for Ajakai here. In by Usani, and it finds its way through. And Mary Usani has a second goal at this World Cup. The smiles belong to Nigeria. Frustration for New Zealand. Just helping this into an area, really, Usani uh, flicks off the head of Elliot. Well, it's on target. They'll have to determine whether Usani will get the goal or whether it'll be an own goal for Manaya Elliott, the New Zealand captain. Usani will want to claim it. Well, Leon Burney's team were 2-0 down in match day one against Chile. They got a goal back early in the second half. They've defended these long throws really well, Nigeria. Bello. Ajikai, he's done very well, it's a free pass on here, could be three. All the time in the world for Musaku. Relief for New Zealand. Some of this first half uh, play for Nigeria has been eye-catching. Goalkeeper can't get a hand on that, and it kisses the bar and over. From Musaku, coach turned away in frustration there. He was expecting a third goal. And that's two chances in the last couple of minutes for Musaku. Bello, oh, lovely drag away from Errington. Some technicians in this Nigeria team, and are they on for a third? No. Good save from Daniele to deny Adeshina. Perfect situation here for Nigeria because New Zealand have to take risks and they can hit them in transition 
Here's Ajikai. It's brilliant balance. Sets up. Oh, and almost set up the chance. Well, that was very, very close. But she's a tremendous mover, isn't she? Ajikai. Well, this is Grace. Balance is outstanding there. Same setup, defending a corner for New Zealand four, marking the six-yard box. Others looking to mark players coming in, but nobody getting close to Ajakaye there. It's a decent save from Danielli to deny Ajakaye. Had some power on it, didn't it? Danielli did it well to get it up and over the expense of another Nigeria corner. Just wonder whether they perhaps could just change it up a little bit. Nigeria know what's coming here from Elliot. They're defending these long throws with uh, a degree of comfort. A little deflection on that. Uh, New Zealand have a corner. Can they make this set piece work? The Kiwis. There's a header towards goal from Green. Never troubling the Nigeria goal from Murray Green. Found its way through here for Ajakaye. Danielli with the save. Now it's an empty goal. And somehow it stays out of that New Zealand net. Green misses that. Falls kindly for Ajakaye. Danielli with the save. And then maybe just a flick off Herring. I think that made all the difference to it being a goal. Here's Bello. Afalabi. Oh, magnificent. Just caressed, really, by Afalabi. Now that is a celebration we like. A picture book goal from Taiwo Afalabi. Interesting technique there. Just punches it. And it's too far out of the grasp of Danielli. And sails beautifully into that New Zealand net for Nigeria's third goal and game clinching goal. New Zealand ooh, couldn't take an opportunity right across the face. Green showing some interest in it. Nigeria would move level on points with Germany and Chile, who meet later today here. And there's hesitation, and it could lead to a fourth, and it's a delightful goal. Just really special from Adidiong team. The gloss on a great day for Nigeria. But New Zealand had opportunities to get to the ball. No lost causes for the goal scorer. And once she got into the clear, she backed her technique to find the top corner. Incidentally, that uh, fine fourth goal for Nigeria scored by Etienne was their 30th attempt on target in this game. 14 of them on target, just one on target for New Zealand. A very fine performance, a performance of quality, a performance that says to their opponents at this World Cup, we are here to be competitive. New Zealand fearing the worst now, that they will be going home at the group stage. But no doubt about it, the better team by a considerable margin have gathered three points. The first three points for Nigeria, and it could have been heavier in their favour. It's finished. New Zealand nil, Nigeria four in Group B.